Breast cancer and alcohol. What's the connection? A new study says that drinking may actually raise the risk of the disease. This morning, Dr. Elizabeth Vaughn is joining us to talk more about it. Good morning. Good morning, Cindy. So tell me, what is this study all about? Well, this study confirms a previous study which showed that women who drink over two alcoholic drinks a day were at increased risk of breast cancer. What this study shows in addition to that is that alcohol consumed even in smaller amounts increases the risk of breast cancer, particularly estrogen and progesterone receptor positive breast cancers. So let's talk about the specifics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Dr. Jasmine Liu of the U.S. Uh, National Cancer Institute followed more than 184,000 postmenopausal women for an average of seven years. Those who had less than one alcoholic drink a day had a 7% increased risk of breast cancer compared to the teetotalers. One to two drinks a day increased your risk by 32% and three or more drinks increased your risk uh, by 51%. Um, the increased risk was seen mainly in the 70% of breast cancers that are estrogen and progesterone receptor positive. Whoa, those yeah. are pretty high numbers. They are high numbers, but you have to put it into, into perspective. Um, let's look at it another way. Everyone says one in nine women will get breast cancer. Well, that's only correct if we all live to 90, which isn't going to happen. A more useful way to look at it is what is the risk of an average 50-year-old woman getting breast cancer this year? One in 63. So, the study would increase a 50-year-old woman's risk of getting breast cancer this year from 1 to 63 to 1 in 50, 59 if you drink occasionally, and to 1 in 42 if you drink more than three drinks a day. If you have the really bad genes that they discovered that increase your risk of breast cancer due to the influence of alcohol, a 50-year-old woman's risk goes up to 1 in 31.5 women. Hmm. Any recommendations? Yeah, I, I think you know they were hesitate, hesitant to make recommendations, but this is not real complicated. This is a very important study. Close to 200,000 postmenopausal women were followed for seven years. It follows what we've seen in epidemiological studies in the past. The more alcohol you drink, the greater your risk of breast cancer. The more risk factors you have for breast cancer, the less alcohol you should drink. Drink in moderation if you drink at all to reduce your risk of breast cancer. I remember the study was done on postmenopausal women, right? That's correct. That's correct. All right. So they're not going to say anything about premenopausal women, but I will suggest that the, there's probably the exact same influence there that will show up a little bit later in life. A little life. bit later in life. Yeah. And don't forget, you can still register for Cindy's team online. Go to our website to find out more about that. Click on the About Us link. And if you'd like to find out more about the different risks of your age and you want to discuss that with your doctor, check out naturaltriad.com. We've put a link to their website on the morning news page of our website, myfoxwghp.com. Stick around because Dr. Vaughn, she's going to take your calls around 8.15.